Welcome back again, Odong. Good to have you back. And here's a second question that comes up. And this one is from Travel Europe. And he's referring to the Quran, chapter 4, verse 171. So let me read the verse to you and to everybody. And then I'll uh, share his question with you concerning the verse. And the verse, now I'll be reading from Hilali and Khan. For those people who, who ask me, I mean, there are so many different translations. No one of them are really good. Uh, but this is the one that all my Muslim friends demand that I use. It, uh, it's by Dr. Muhammad Taki al-Din al-Hilali and Dr. Ma Muhammad Musin Khan. So this is their translation. It's not a great translation, but it's the most popular one amongst English-speaking Muslims that I know. So that's why I'm using it. And this is what it says. Chapter 4, verse 171. O people of the scripture, do not exceed the limits in your religion, nor say of Allah, aught but the truth. The Messiah Isa, son of Mary, was a messenger of Allah and his word and a spirit created by him. So believe in Allah and his messenger. Say not three, cease, better for you. For Allah is one Ilah, glorified is he above having a son. To him belongs all that is in the heavens and all that is in the earth. And Allah is all sufficient as a disposer of affairs. So that's chapter 4, verse 171. And here is the question by Travel Europe. And he asks this, Odom, in chapter 4, 171, which is also repeated on the Dome of the Rock and in the inscriptions there, it first calls upon the people of the book and then tells them, don't say three, which is about halfway down the verse. So it's clearly referring to Christians, not Jews. Am I correct? Mm -hmm. um, interesting question. It's all about the... Um the global reading you could you, one can have about the people of the book. You see, when you only look at this verse, one could verily ask himself whether or not the people of the book could be Christians. But the thing is to look at every occurrence of the people of the book phrase in the Quran. This is what I did. Um, this is what I presented with you, Jay. Only a short summary, of course. And by looking at every, 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 every occurrence of the people of the book and by comparing, comparing every occurrence one with each other, we, we see that the people of the book are Jews and that the, the book in question is not the book, it's the scriptures, it is the Torah, it is the, the, it is the, the Jewish revelation. And, but for this particular verse, there is something... Um, there is something to say, and especially um, we see that the translations are very um, oriented. They are very subjective. They are very, um, they abide by the Islamic narrative. When you look at the, at the verse, people of the book do not uh, transgress, do not, do not go beyond the limits of your religion. Do not say about God anything but the truth. Here in Arabic, for the, the phrase the phrase to come, um, there is the adverb inama. Inama. Inama means verily. Not, no, not only. When you look, for example, in the corpus.quran.com website, inama is translated as being only. But when you ask um, Arabic scholars, and uh, non-Muslim Arabic scholars, what they tell you is that inama can also mean verily. So the, um, the verse means people of the book do not go beyond the limits of your religion. Verily, the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, was a messenger of God. So this is something written in order to make the people of the book, to make the Jews believe that Jesus is the Messiah. So the verse means people of the book believe that the Messiah is Jesus, son of Mary. Stop denying him. And from them, from there, do not become Christian. It is not because you should believe in the Messiah, 
that you should become Christians and believe in the Trinity and say three. So do not say three, stop. So what we see here is um, very um, compatible and, and, and it is an, um, with what I explained. This is what I explained. Um, this verse and this inscription on the Dome of the Rock urges the, the, the people of the book to believe in Jesus as the Messiah, but not as a son in God, as the son of God. Okay, so and this is what the, I think the Quranic Nazarenes taught the, the Arabs. Okay. Did you get my point, Jay, about I'm the trying to look at, I'm Nama? Trying, so put it, uh, open it up, open up. Do you have it in front of you? Chapter 4, verse 171. I have it, but I, I don't have the same translation as you. I have a uh, Droge translation, Arbery, Pictor, Shakir, or Yusuf. Those are the better ones, unfortunately. Those are the best ones. All right. But which Those is are the best? ones from the website, uh, QuranGetaway.org. I, we, I have to use the one the Muslims demand I use. So that's mm -hmm. why I'm going to see how I can argue this. So where is the, in, where is the word Inama? I'm trying to figure out where it is in this. I'm looking for it right now. I, I, inama, it's uh, just at the beginning of the second sentence of the verb. Do not exceed the limits in your religion, nor save Allah at. Voilà. But the just truth. after this, just after this, you have Inamal al Masihu, Isa, Ibn Mariama. Verily, the Messiah is the son of Mary was. Okay, so verily is right before the Messiah. Inamal uh, al Masih. Okay, so there it is right there. I, I most, it. most scholars, most, most um, Muslim scholars want this verb to mean only. They want this, this, um, this word to mean that the Messiah was. Only the son of Mar Mariam. Now, in my translation, they have it in parentheses here, and this is why I, I didn't read it when I read it because I don't read the parentheses because that's that is uh, to commentary that has been added to the text. So, in mine, it says, uh, "Do not exceed the limits in your religion, nor say of Allah at but the truth: the Messiah is a son of Mary was no more than." Well, that would be like mm -hmm. only though that take out okay. no more and say, "Verily, the Messiah is son of Mary." was a message of Allah and his word, which bestowed on Miriam and a spirit. So you're saying that's where it comes in. But then you still haven't answered the question about later on in the halfway down the verse where it says, say not three, mm -hmm. because the Jews don't say three. It's mm -hmm. the Christians that say three. So how is it that this could be to the Jews and not the Christians? Once you have made the Jews believe that Jesus is the, is the Messiah, the thing is to just leave them there and not have them believe that Jesus is the Son of God. You see, it's all about the Nazarene theology. Jesus, in the Nazarene way of um, seeing him, was um, God's apostle, God's Messiah, but he was not God himself. This is why he opposed to both the rabbinic Jews, the rabbinical Jews, who did not believe that Jesus was the Messiah, and they also opposed the Christian. Because the, the Christian um, thought that Jesus was the Son of God. Okay, but hold on. Okay, maybe I'm not following your. Maybe I'm following, but I'm, I understand what what travel Europe's trying to ask, and that is, your your. It's understand, and I agree with you. If you look at the whole context of all the references to the Nazarene all the way through, you will see that this is referring to the Jews. However, in this case, is what he's asking. In this case, mm -hmm. since the reference, say not three, cease, is better for you, for Allah is one, no Jew would have said three. Only Christians mm -hmm. would say three. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, the Trinitarian formula. So this mm -hmm. seems to me, even, looking at it tertiary, is that this is a verse that is, that is geared towards the Christians, not the Jews. The Christian already believe that Jesus is the Messiah. So there would be no utility, no, no use for reminding them, should they have been the people of the book that are mentioned of in this verb, there would be no there would have been no use to remind them that Jesus is the Messiah. The only use of telling uh, Jesus is the Messiah is, is for Jews, is to teach them that Jesus is the Messiah. You I see, would you just have you have to look at the, the whole verse and see um, the coherence of it. 
what does it what does the whole verse mean not only the particular um for the particular sentence do not say three but the whole verse yeah and i would agree with you i i, and I think i think i think the travel europe and i myself are, are doing that because that first part the messiah jesus jesus son of mary was verily he was a messenger of allah and he was the word which is bestowed in mary i mean that the Messiah, in other words, that's all he is. He's only the Messiah. He's only the word of God. Say not mm -hmm. three. He's not three for God is one. That to me would all, to, that would exactly, that would fit both halves of that verse would fit for a Christian. I'm not sure that I understand why for a Jew, uh, the Jews also understand him, uh, understand that the Messiah is coming. They don't think he's the Messiah. I understand that part. But that's, the, that's the point. That's exactly the point. Okay, but you're not you're not answering the second half of the verse. You're only that only fits for the first half. But you cannot have the second half of the verse without the first. That's okay. The okay. Well, listen to me. Let me just say it one more. Let me say it this way. Maybe the mm -hmm. first half of the verse is to remind the Christians he is really the Messiah. You know he's the Messiah. Leave it at that. Don't say three. So it does fit together. No, I don't think so because the the, the Christian don't need to be remembered. That the, the Messiah is is um, verily Jesus, son of Mary. They already believe it. Okay. They already right. believe it. Here's one of the few times where Odo and I are going to disagree. This is fun. We don't agree on everything. <laughs> and you've heard Eden's. Uh, you've heard Odon's position. You've heard my position. I I I I can understand why Travel Europe asked this question. I think it's a good question. For most of you, you probably are convinced by Odin's answer. I'm not necessarily convinced, but that's 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 what we have to learn to to, to work with. I can I can gather, I can fathom what you think, Jay, and what yeah. uh, our, our friend in travel Europe, in, uh, travel Europe um, is pointing at. But uh, I really think you have to to look at the, um, at, at, the at the at the verse as a whole, and not only just the tiny part of it. Okay, and I think we have, but let's leave it at that. I think this is this. We're not going to come to a conclusion on it, but God bless you. Thank you for your response, and I think this is good that we can still disagree on who exactly are the object of the word Nazarene. And I would agree with you that the majority of the references in the Quran are really for Jews. Thanks a lot, Odin. Appreciate that. This is Jay and Odin. Back to the next question. Until then, over and out. <laughs>